So today I'm going to show you guys a nano blitz out of the 5-2 formation. And the play we're going to look at is cover 2. Not fire zone 2, but cover 2. So before I show you the setup, I just want to let you guys know that I am very aware that this is going to cause a lot of controversy. I'm also aware that this video is going to get a ton of dislikes. So the only thing that I can tell you is if it's in the game, for the most part, I'm going to show it. Okay, That's just what I do. If it's in there, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to show you what I found. And that's really all there is to it. It's in the game, right? So if you think that this is something that should be banned, and I'm sure that you will, by all means, go ahead, email EA, tell them about it, give them the link. I have absolutely no problem with it. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that this isn't completely cheesy. All I'm saying is, I found it, I'm going to show you it. It's as simple as that. Okay? So what do I have for you today? I have a one-man nano. That's right, a one-man nano, not a nano blitz like you see on YouTube with people saying, oh, this works and blah, 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 and then you get in a game and it doesn't work. This is a play that's going to work in practice mode and it's going to work in a real game, okay? I'm going to show you highlights after. I think I have about 12 different plays of me doing this uh, just recently, just tonight. Uh, after I found this a couple days ago, I thought, okay, might as well make a video for it. So I played a couple games tonight, had a couple people quit on me, um, it's just, it's kind of stupid, but at the same time, it is what it is. It's in the game. I'm going to show it, okay? So, as far as your comments go, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for all the negative feedback and things like that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. We're going to put every single defensive lineman in a zone. Then there's actually two methods that we can use to get this done. Okay, the first one is uh, it's going to depend on kind of, I guess, your quickness with letting go of the left trigger. So the first method that we have is holding left trigger and then tapping down like this on the left analog stick, just like that. So tap, 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 tap. As soon as the ball is snapped, we're going to let go of the left trigger. We're then going to start to hold the right trigger and we're going to pull down on the left analog stick. So the reason why we're going tap, tap, tap all the way down on the left analog stick is because that's basically just going to give us that boost right at the snap. It's going to allow us to quickly hold down like that at the snap and come after the quarterback, okay? If we just sat here like this and hold down left trigger but didn't put down the analog stick, well, first of all, we're in a zone. Okay, that's kind of the key. We're not blitzing, we're in a zone. So if we just did this, our player would drop backwards. But because we're going down on the analog stick, as soon as the ball is snapped, let go a left trigger, hold RT, and head on to the quarterback, okay? The other method that you can use is not holding left trigger, just hold RT and very, very lightly tap down on the left analog stick, okay? This is a method that I used when the game first came out to do my manual blitzing. It's actually a method, either way is okay. You're gonna get a better jump using this particular method, okay? You will get a better jump, but I am aware that not a lot of people are gonna be able to get their finger off the left trigger in time, because once the ball is snapped and if you're holding left trigger, you're actually gonna start strafing which is going to slow you down and you're probably going to get picked up by the tackle. So uh, what we want to do, uh, if we can't get that right, is we're going to hold down the right trigger as I mentioned and we're going to go very lightly on the left analog stick all the way down. We're moving it but we're not actually moving it enough that it's registering on the controller, right? We're just, we're just kind of tapping it down. If we pull down too far, that's what's going to happen. Our player's going to kind of jolt. It's going to be moving like that. So we just literally want to just tap. And we're only doing that just to get that. See, I moved my guy a little there. We're just doing that just to get that timing down so that as soon as the ball is snapped, because we're tapping down so much, we're then going to, we're going to notice the ball is snapped and then we're just going to hold straight down and go after the quarterback. So uh, let's reset the play. Okay, so there is that method. Now, this is something that does work from both sides. Um, so it just really depends on what you're more comfortable with. 
So as I said, you can just put all these guys in zones, bring your guy over, stand on the line, and do whichever setup that you want. Now, after a little bit of trials and tribulations with the whole play, it does work just using this method, but there is a way that I found. Uh, you're going to see in the gameplay footage, the first few clips are going to be using this method. But a better way to do it is actually by spreading the defensive line, okay, after you've zoned up all your players, get in beside this player here. And if you're using, actually, no matter what method you use, whether you use the right trigger or left trigger method, you're going to pull down on the left stick, for example, then you're gonna start tapping down on the button. And what that's generally gonna do, now in practice mode, it's not doing it. But in general, what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna pinch your defensive line. But because I'm standing beside this defensive end right here, he's not gonna move over. All the rest of these defensive linemen here will pinch, but this guy will not move over. So we're going to continue to do this. As I said, in a game, the rest of the guys, the four guys on the right, will pinch. And as we do this, once they snap the ball, we're going to get in at the quarterback. So watch the first few clips of the gameplay footage. And again, as I said, you're going to notice, maybe it's like the first seven or eight clips. Uh, you're going to notice that we are getting it at a pretty good pace. I mean, we're getting right in at the quarterback, and we're able to sack him while only rushing our one player. Um, then in the last four to five clips, you're going to notice that we're really getting in fast at the quarterback. So using the spread, the defensive line method is a little bit better than just going right straight over when your defensive line is being pinched and just coming down. Because, you know, obviously when we've got an extra player out here that can help us get past the left tackle, that's to our benefit, right? Now, the other thing is, um... This doesn't just work out a 5-2. If you were to look around and find out different plays, uh, this method is gonna work for a lot of different things. But uh, for me and my lab partner, we basically labbed out this whole thing uh, a few days ago. Me and uh, Rajan Frodo, it's a guy I've been labbing with the last two years. And um, this is just the best, meth best method <laughs> that we found. It's the 5-2, cover two, spread the defensive line, and then once you start doing that, it's going to pinch, and you're going to be able to come right in at the quarterback. So again, as I said, I know this is going to create a lot of controversy. A lot of you guys are going to call me a huge cheese ball and a cheater and all this type of stuff, but I have no problem with EA patching this. It's in the game. I'm going to show you, okay? That's all, that's all it is. So as far as the gameplay footage, a couple things that I want you to pay attention to. The blitz is so fast. You're going to see, you're going to say to yourself, well, why doesn't the guy just roll out? To be honest with you, especially when they're not expecting it, this blitz is so fast. They don't even have time to roll out. I think there was maybe, there was one, maybe two times where their quarterback was able to roll out. But if he's not thinking that at first, literally it's just like, boom, he's getting sacked before he even can think about rolling out. Um, so I played the first game. I was up a decent amount of points. I did it to him a couple times. Then finally he threw an interception because I have all that max coverage. Um, and he tried to force a ball because normally I try to hide it, right? Like for me, I'll stand over here and then at the last second I'll come down and then I'll, you know, try to disguise it and almost try to time the snap to think, okay, so he's thinking that he's going to snap the ball real soon. Let me get over here and just boom, 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 you know, or or actually not on that side of the guy, but come right in here and just, do, 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 you know, down on the controller, time it so that they don't see it coming. Uh, against gun tight formations, it's actually the best because what's going to happen is you're going to have two receivers right over here. So if we're standing over here moving a player, it's not that big a deal because they're just going to think that we're going to be trying to user bump that defender. So a couple other things is one, uh, a running back blocking will stop it. But let's also keep in mind that we have maximum coverage defense out there. So even if the blocking running back does stop us, we still have an insane amount of coverage. We can then do whatever we want, maybe try to drop back or stop some flat passes or just whatever, right? But with that said, uh, blocking a running back does not completely stop this blitz. 
Uh, I've done it many times where... Um, now, I didn't actually do it in-game yet. Uh, I only did it when we were labbing it up. Uh, we were practicing, blocking, and stuff like that, and it did work. I just don't have any gameplay footage of that actually happening, but you'll just have to take my word for it, and even if it doesn't work versus a blocked running back, who cares? It's a one-man nano. It's ridiculous. So, um, what other details do I need to say? Against a blue zone, a blue, um, uh, you know, delayed route out of the backfield that's going to kill that. Uh, he's not going to be able to roll out. So the first game, he threw an interception, he quit. Then the second game, I got up again pretty similarly, and he quit. And I just, you know, everyone's been quitting. <laughs> so it's not something that you're going to be able to use um, nonstop. Like, obviously, I don't, I don't know what the skill level of those players were that I played that I used it against. You know, they weren't actually blocking running backs, but I was doing a pretty good job of disguising it. As I said, I would have my linebacker over the middle, and then I would come over here, and I, I was just kind of on point those three games. Not to say that it's always going to be like that. I just I kind of had his snap count down a little bit. So you're going to face good opponents that are going to be very smart. They're going to block the running back and things like that. But this is the type of play where even if you play those guys, okay, that catch on to it. Maybe you try to sneak it in or whatever and they catch on. Well, you can still disguise it. You can do it from other formations. You know, get in the lab, try to find it out of different formations where it's much more easily disguisable. Okay, um, but also if it's third down and whatever, I mean, you could put these guys in, in deep blue zones if it's like third and long. And, you know, no matter what, they're going to struggle. Like, look at that's maximum coverage defense. Where are they going to throw the ball? So there's a lot of different things that you can do, but keep in mind it's by no means money, but, uh, you know, unless they block a running back or even sometimes they have to block two, and then if they're blocking two running backs, well, now we've got how many guys covering, what, three receivers? So it's really a mismatch overall, okay? So hopefully the controversy doesn't get too out of control. Just wanted to show you this one-man nano and one that actually works because I've seen one-man nanos on YouTube before. Terrible. They don't work. DT nanos, awful. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. National Football League. Well, and, and rightly so. And, and, you know, in football where it's very hard to, to differentiate between sometimes one thrower to next, even the casual fan can see when they watch him on the top. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving it hands and go outside. They'll go shotgun here. Greeny great from the shotgun. Fights off the hit. Unready for a battle. Second down and ten. And he's intercepted. Now first and ten. That's a sack for Freeney. Back. Out of the shotgun formation. Running for his life. Pushes aside one tackler. Swatted away. He's on side for this play. First down and 10. Getting away from the first and 10. The defense gets a sack. Robinson takes the stab from the shotgun. And the quarterback is... Corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. 